So at the jury trial, I wasn't allowed to ask any smart questions. I wasn't allowed to ask about the rule of law, or the three branches of government, or the continuum of force. The sheriff even said that he didn't keep up with the law. He didn't really know the law, and he didn't really keep up with the law. He said he did his best to keep up with the law. They pass brand new laws in Denver every goddamn year. You do your best. Why don't you just get the uh, Martinez, Matthew Martinez, to uh, brief you every year. Hey, Martinez, what uh, what laws did you change this year? Also, there's Title 18. You buy Title 18. It's in the front. Richard D- Dreyfus believes Americans' ignorance of its founding and civics has done great harm to our values. Absolutely. Public education. We got social studies, which that's social studies. You're not allowed to socialize in social studies. And then it's supposed to be civics. So I remember having like one American government class or some shit where they kind of just touch base on a whole bunch of shit. But for the most part in my social studies class, I was told that we don't have the freedom of speech. It's the freedom of religion. That was the important part of the First Amendment, just the religion part. That freedom of speech bullshit, that's, well, that was just bullshit. And she said no right in front of class, so it's humiliating, it's embarrassing. The dictator, the tyrant, just fucking lied to us straight through our goddamn faces. What's the First Amendment? Oh, I raised my hand, played her stupid fucking game, freedom of speech. Wrong! (laughs) Well, shit, don't want to be wrong like that fucking guy. And then I remember looking at another smart person and was like, wait a second, no, she's she's wrong. And I brought it up to her later on, not embarrassing her the way she did to me. And then she was like, so? <laughs> so? So I'm supposed to listen to you fill my head with knowledge when, when I just corrected you and you're acting like an asshole. So it's going to be hard for me to be corrected by you. Also, you're boring and stupid and mean and you're a gossip queen. Just fucking, she gossiped with Melissa Aders. And then I didn't get my scholarship to my fucking college. So that fucking Mary Beth fucked my college up. Her playing stupid gossip fucking rumor games. Sharon Parker played stupid gossip rumor games too. Palm. Jim Palm. I remember I was on the bus. It was just a... They started saying, Rocky, Rocky. There's just this boy... Who was fucking with my sibling. And I just remember my sibling, you know, fighting back and doing it, doing it uh, not, not effectively, but just being real mad about it. And so I got up to fight him and then he tried a couple moves. He tried to like jump up on the, (laughs) he tried to jump on the school bus seats to try to do like this jumping kick, this jump up kick kind of thing. And he just kind of looked silly and just kicked the air. His bigger brother was sitting there enticing him, pushing this. I'm in the first grade, so, or maybe second grade. It would have been the second grade or the third. It was Gallatin County, definitely. Because I go to Jim Palm's office. It was, I was in elementary school, the new one. So the old middle school, I guess I'm a relic. I'm an ancestor. Because I got stories about that old middle school. And then there was that side building is where we went to kindergarten right next to the old middle school. And then that cafeteria stunk to high heaven. And there was no air conditioning. And Miss Marsh, we made fun of her B.O., but she wasn't, it wasn't that bad. We're just kind of asshole fucking students. (laughs) But that's the thing is that we were not taught virtues and goodness. We were just taught to shut up and obey. And so we would have substitute teachers, and I guess that's why Mary Beth got us fucking back, because we were such fucking assholes to her when she was a substitute. And uh, Mr. Bird, he tried to be a dick, and we like took his hearing aid, and you weren't raising good fucking American students. You didn't tell us about all the American civil liberties that we had. You were just telling us to shut the fuck up and do as you're told, and this is a wonderful gift. We are bequeath, bequeath um, an incredible legacy. So when Richard Dreyfus says that uh, uh, 
American's ignorance of civics and constitution is providing... He's right! I mean, he was in American Graffiti and Close Encounters of the Third Kind and Jaws and Mr. Holland's Opus. How are you going to sit there, sit there and try to tell me Mr. Holland's Opus ain't... You better listen to Mr. Holland's Opus. All the rest of you guys, it's all you're all a bunch, you bunch of ass licking, asshole licking pieces of shit, anyways. They're all equally nuts, he told Dave Rubin on the Rubin Report. Hmm. By not knowing the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, by not knowing the birth tale of America, we treat ourselves tremendously and we change the values that are so important and so unique to us. Opposing views, what other country cherishes opposing views like we do, he asked. Only Britain, he claimed. The judge wouldn't last, let me ask those questions. The rule of law, the continuum of force. Am I that much smarter than the fucking cops? Am I that much smarter than the fucking establishment and the system and the people and the bureaucrats inside the system? If so, why have I not been deputized? Why have I not been... I mean, I've asked the system for a job before, you know. It's not like I haven't uh, tried to get a job from these fucking pricks. And then Schultz, so if I can't get a job with Keith Schultz because he's a fucking piece of shit who wants to fuck me over... He told me if I can't beat the Crips, then I should join the Crips. I need to wear one of my pants legs, hike one of my pants legs up. So that's the, the advice from Christia County Sheriff's Department. If you can't beat the Crips, then join the Crips. Hmm. You know, if I was a Crypt, I would have a family and a brotherhood. And I'd definitely be allowed to defend myself at the very least. I mean, instead of just thinking that I could use force as a self-defense measure. If I was a Crips, I could use force for any fucking reason I fucking felt like it. Then I'd have a family and a brotherhood that would back me up on all the dumb shit that... You know, if I was a Crypt. If I was a Blood or an MS-13. I'd rather not be a part of a criminal organization... But I mean, God, is that what the cops are? The cops just, it's just a fucking machine and they just got to feed the fucking machine. It's got to just eat something. It's got to eat something, eat something. Doesn't matter what it eats up. And then eventually it's going to eat itself. If the machine doesn't actually care about establishing justice and if there's a presence of justice, if if justice is actually established, not just a presence. The actor said nasty squabbles, political identities, da, 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 da. So he's right. Richard Dreyfuss is correct. See, July 4th, 1776, Ben Franklin, John Adams, Philip Livingston, Roger Sherman, Tomas Jefferson. Who is this Tomas Jefferson? I've been running into disagreeable uh, disagreeable people my entire fucking life, and I tried to say, hey, you know, I got morals. You got morals too? Oh, yeah, okay, so... So we both agree that uh, cold-blooded murder of innocent children is wrong, right? Like the Iraq War, that's wrong. That's clearly wrong, right? That's uh, mass murder of innocent Iraqi children. They never did anything to us. Why would you be on the side of mass murder and genocide of Iraqi children? That seems weird. So you go uh, across all these disagreeable sons of bitches and none of them can say, well, you know what? Yeah, mass murder of a bunch of innocent kids is fucking wrong. They all shut the fuck up and they went along with their shit. Those same assholes don't know shit about the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. They don't know shit about the, you know, three branches of government, the rule of law, federalism. These are concepts that are worthy of revolution, you know. I am a revolutionary in mind, body, spirit. So, as a revolutionary... As long as we have a peaceful means for transition of power, then there's no reason for being violent and coup d'etat and bloodbath. And, you know, Haiti, for like 20 years, there was a Rome. Seven years, there was, you know, like a new emperor every other fucking month. It's just uh, unstable. It's a very unstable system. Might is right. The motherfucker Caesar gets to be the fucking Caesar because he's got a stronger army than everybody else. 
But what if Caesar's a pipsqueak? What if he just walks with a fucking limp? What if he's like a a Napoleon piece of shit? He couldn't even fight his fucking neighbor, but just because he's, you know, telling armies of men what to do? Well, he sure knows how to ride a horse and tell people what to do. Oh, waha. Alamosa County moves on dilapidated house. Good. It's about fucking time. Clean your fucking neighborhoods up, you fucking pieces of shit. If the broken glass theory is, you know, cops are supposed to arrest anybody and everybody for the broken glass theory. What about the fucking shit? All the broken glass on these dilapidated houses. So that's just it. I just wanted to make a comment about that Richard Dreyfus fucking article. Richard Dreyfus is a um, an actor who knows about the Constitution. We didn't grow up with civics. We, I don't know anybody that I can talk to about the Constitution or the Bill of Rights or federalism or the laws. Abraham Lincoln's the only one that told me anything, and he said that we should have reverence for our laws. And Marianne Williamson and the founders. And when it comes to being Americans, eat pluribus unum, right? There's, you know, we're all over the place. Uh, Chinese, uh, Mexican, Bolivian, Bavarian, African, Prussian, Bohemian, Austrian. We're all over the map. And so since we're a collection of people and we're 50 states and we're kind of just a crazy fucking meld, a crazy ass mesh of... Yeah, the only thing we are is our goddamn, our founding documents, right? If we're not our founding documents, then we're kind of, kind of nothing. But since I had so many disagreeable fucks that couldn't say mass murder of a bunch of innocent children was wrong. I love the law because the law says murder is wrong. So <laughs> even though you stupid fucking pieces of shit were all about the Iraq war because your daddy told you to go fucking kill a bunch of innocent Iraqi pieces of shit and you can't, you don't know right from wrong. So the Board of County Commissioners are going to try to take a fucking building. There's a building. It's the derelict piece of private property, 8132 Road 110 South in Alamosa County. I hope they're successful, and I hope they fucking condemn it and close it down. I hope they close down a bunch of 20 other fucking... And they actually make it hospitable for the homeless. How many of these fucking stupid-ass buildings, a cop would arrest a homeless person if they were living in them, but nobody's taking care of them. The landlord is, it's an absentee landlord. They've gone on, they have other pieces of property, and they clearly don't give a shit about this community, this blight. They're adding a blight to the community, so they're pushing down property rates. Vern Hersink and Lori Lasky. Commissioner Arlen Van Rie, he made it. Congratulations to Commissioner Arlen Van Rye. Property owner is not contactable, but according to Hubler, local residents have been paying the property taxes on it can be served with a legal notice. If the county does proceed and absorb the cost of any demolition or cleanup, the county would not own the property but could place a lien on it. Acting as the Board of Health, the commissioners passed a motion declaring the property a nuisance to health. The property owner or their agent will have 24 hours to abate the threats to public health on the property as of the motion's passage. Damn, 24 hours? And I guess this article is written just because they're going to fucking take it. This is posted one day ago by John Waters. So, I like that they're going after it. Give them 30 days. Just post a fucking thing on the thing. Try three different fucking ways to condemn it. And then after you don't do that and you made your due diligence, condemn it. You know what I mean? Jelly Bean on the movie screen. You know what I mean? Jelly Bean on the movie screen. You want to go watch the movie screen? Eileen and Bob. Bob and Eileen over there in Boone County and goddamn Camp Ernst. Oh, it's not Camp Ernest, it's Camp Ernst. I was born in a one room shack on the outskirts of New Orleans. We didn't have money for food or rent. At least we could say we were hard pressed. That's before Mama bought me a fancy dress. So 
let's go ahead and um, let's get this uploaded.